Well, college football returns to the borderland as UTEP kicks off their season at the Sumble. Now, a busy Saturday for sports in this COVID-19 area. The El Paso Locomotive were also in action, and we also had the Kentucky Derby in September. Horses and jockeys were there, but uh, no fans in this one. Really miss seeing all those hats. All well, the Miners taking on the Stephen F. Austin Lumberjacks, an FCS school out of the Southland Conference. UTEP does tend to struggle against FCS schools, so let's see how it all played out tonight. To the Sumbow. UTEP football is back, and so are the fans. Limited amount. Lumberjacks will strike first. Trey Self with the pass to Larton Rickle, a 17-yard touchdown pass. Lumberjacks up seven to zip. And in the second quarter, UTEP down 14 to three. They finally find pay dirt here. Gavin Hardison to Justin Garrett for the four yard touchdown pass. UTEP down 14 to 10. Still in the second quarter, UTEP defense comes up big right here. Lumberjacks cough it up. And it's UTEP's Justin Prince with a scoop. And he's not done. He get forced out inside the 10. And then it's the former Parkland Matador, Dion Hankins, running people over 10 yards to the house. His first collegiate touchdown. UTEP goes into the half up 17 to 14 in the fourth quarter. Same score. Hand off to Mr. Hankins and run, Dion, run. Hankins with a nice pickup. Miners in business, so why not let the Parkland Matador finish it off right here? Hankins in the Wildcat. Dion Hankins, welcome to End Zone City. Loved calling it when he was at Parkland. Love calling it now when he's a minor. His second touchdown of the night right there, and that would seal the deal for UTEP. The Miners get their first win of the season, 24 to 14. The final coach Dana, Dana Dimmel's third win in his time at UTEP. The big story here, though, you see it right there. Hankins, 113 yards rushing, two touchdowns on the night. We're going to have post-game sound from Coach Dimmel and Hankins on Good Morning El Paso. That news conference just wrapped up right now, so we're going to have that for you tomorrow on Good Morning El Paso weekend.